Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day. So for today's pick a card reading, we'll be looking into where is life ready to take you next? So what is coming up for you? Where is life taking you? I'm super excited to dive into this topic today. And we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one with Lotus Blue Butterfly, pile number two with the Lion, and pile number three with the Eagle. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description box. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about where is your life ready to take you next. So pile number one for your card today, you guys chose the beautiful Lotus Blue Butterfly. And on your card it says transformation becoming lightness and beauty. Okay, very powerful image. I'm getting very powerful energies from this card. And you guys also have the yellow stone for today. Okay, so pile number one, I'm super excited to get into today's reading. Let's just get into your cards and let's see where your life is ready to take you next. I feel like I'm gonna start with the tarot cards today first, just so that we get a more overall energy and a better idea of what's going to be happening forward for you and wow did you hear that car there i'm kind of getting that energy of like i just picked up the chariot of like progress where things are about to start moving in a sense for you um that's interesting so let's start with your tarot cards and then we'll get into your oracle cards later on but let's see pile number one where is your life ready to take you next pile number one spirit guides and angels where is pile number one's life ready to take them next? For those who felt drawn to this pile, Spirit Guides and Angels. Okay, so right away you guys have the Queen of Cups. So this is kind of giving me um, the energy that life is ready to take you towards your desires and what you guys want for your life. So I see moving forward, there's like this energy of your, your life going where you want it to go, where your intention is. I feel like it's a better way to say it. So where is your intention towards life? Where you want your life to go? I feel like that is what's coming in for you guys. Wow, the Five of Cups. That is really big energy. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Wow, you guys have been dealing with a lot, I feel, here and the knight of swords but you're coming out of it wow okay you're coming out of it i i feel that there for this pile there is actually really big transformation energy and it makes a lot of sense with the butterfly and becoming and lightness especially wow so i do feel here with the five of cups and eight of swords nine of swords it feels like you guys have been maybe going through a period where you're maybe constantly getting rejected or constantly feeling disappointed and it's like i feel so stuck i don't know what to do about this anymore and it's you know it's like it's haunting me at night like i can't stop thinking about it i feel that previously where you were in your life there was like this feeling of i feel so trapped i feel so maybe unaccomplished or i keep getting disappointed like maybe i'm getting offers or i'm getting these sparks of hope but things just keep disappointing me and i just i just can't see the light you know that's with the eight of swords here i'm getting this energy of like i just can't see the light you know and this is these three cards are like a clear energy of maybe depression you know uh, it is really heavy like energy so maybe some of you have been going through that kind of period but for others of you it might be to maybe like a smaller extent of you just feel like you know things are not going the way that you want them to i, I feel that is how your life was prior maybe this is how you're gonna know this is your pile right um but i see something about like your energy shifting with the queen of cups this is like you deciding to just say no and i'm gonna focus towards my desire i'm gonna focus towards what i like what i want my life to look like what i want out of life and you know these moments here that we're seeing 
sometimes I feel that life just needs to put, put us in such an uncomfortable situation and in, in a situation where we just you know we're at that point where we really hate our life in order to change it because if we're too comfortable with our environment then i feel you know we just kind of tend to stay in the same place and desire for more but not really change much because we feel comfortable where we are so i feel kind of like there's like this energy of life has put you at a point where you feel so dissatisfied with where you are where it's like there's nothing else you can do but change it, you know? And I feel that is exactly where life is taking you next. It's like there's going to be this sudden moment of enlightenment for you because you do have your transformation becoming lightness. So clearly this is saying that you're coming out of this period, this dark period, and you're shifting more towards the lightness. Some of you might start to see the beauty of life, start to appreciate life in a different way. But I'm seeing like something changing about your energy where you just try every day, you just try Try to find something that's good about your life or something that is like you can be grateful for and in this way you will start to shift your attention more towards inviting better things in your life and with the knight of swords this is going to happen really quickly uh, honestly guys for our mindset to change and our intention to change it doesn't take much it doesn't take days it doesn't take months it happens overnight okay so you just need to make the decision and i see with the knight of swords you're clearly deciding to move away from this energy, come out of it in a really quick way, in a very drastic way. And I feel that moving forward, life is going to take you in a whole different direction than where it used to be. Um, it does kind of feel like you're triggering this change though, right? With a butterfly, you're transforming yourself. Um, and I want to say moving forward, life is ready to take you towards your desires, towards what you want from life, where you want life, your, your life to go. So if you have been dealing with like that period of dissatisfaction with where your life is and your current circumstances, I see that changing moving forward from when you watch this video. Uh, so that is really big shift in energies, you know. Uh, let's see an oracle card for you guys to get more information here. Spirit guides and angels, can you please give us messages for pile number one and where their life is ready to take them next for pile one. So you have the amethyst here with wisdom. Okay, a lot of color purple. Uh, this pile could be like maybe psychic. Okay, you could maybe read tarot for yourself or you could have psychic abilities as well. But you know, you have wisdom here, which is saying that you're growing, right? Wisdom wise, you're growing. And I feel what I was describing before with you, you know, maybe starting to just um, see the better side of life or the things that you have in your life. It, it is wise, right? It takes a lot of wisdom to get to that point of realization and i feel that they're also your wisdom is taking you here so uh trust your wisdom i feel pile number one trust your knowledge i feel this pile has a lot of wisdom and i'm almost kind of get kind of getting this message of like you know better right you know better than how your life used to be before and maybe the mindset that you were in before it feels like your guides are saying like you know better than this like you can get more than this you know don't settle for less um so i kind of see like you having expect in the upcoming few days to just like have this sudden burst of energy that's really going to take you out of this place forever you know and it's like you're gonna have to keep going you're gonna uh, there, there is discipline involved in your journey i'm not gonna lie with the sword energy with the knight of swords being present there is like this energy of when you come out of it and when you get this it's like your guys are going to give you the sudden energy the sudden like maybe hope or something and use this you know use it and then stay dedicated to it stay uh, disciplined towards it don't just like be excited for the first couple of days and then fall back into the whole cycle like, again you're gonna have to be really disciplined here to pull yourself out of this energy and out of this mindset because i feel that this pile is dealing with mindset okay it's dealing with mindset there is like some things that may be disappointing you in the past uh, but you know also with the five of cups it's like you're not seeing the one cup that's remaining that's why this person is crying they're crying because everything else has failed but they they're just in the process of grieving and it's just a matter of time until they realize there's actually still something for them right you see with the queen of cups so it's like your mind has been 
keeping you in this loop thinking that things are not working out when there is this one hope that's remaining in your life this one cup and this is your your cup you know it feels like there is a, some kind of divine um redirection in your pal right like life has been guiding you towards that one cup and in order for you to see that one cup everything else needs to like right go away so you're just still in the process of grieving and i feel your thoughts have been making you feel this way but i see you realizing what this one cup is in the next couple of days and i feel this is really going to help you to get out of this energy let's see what else poll number one where is your life ready to take you next so you guys, you guys have spiritual evolution, set your heart free. Yeah, so you're spiritually evolving. You have wisdom, right? So spiritually, you're going to grow really, you know, you're really going to expand is what I'm seeing here. Uh, and you also have um, astral travel, caution needed. Okay, interesting. Caution needed and set your heart free. It does feel like you guys have been trapping yourself here in some kind of way with the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords represents like our mind. Our mind is keeping us stuck. So be cautious about this is what I'm getting. It's like be cautious about what your thoughts have been, what thoughts you have been feeding yourself with, right? What it have been, what you have been thinking about. Um, I feel in order for you to jump towards these different energies you're gonna have to pay a lot of attention to your thoughts uh, because something about your thoughts i feel is keeping your energy stuck okay it's it's not reality but it's your thoughts um it's you still grieving over what didn't work out in the past rather than focusing on what can work in the future and i see that as soon as you guys make this switch and you let go of the past and what happened in the past and you just you know see what can happen tomorrow i feel there is going to be a sudden energy shift in you and it will really take you to a whole different place you know astral travel right whole different place um because really I, I said like to change your mindset it doesn't take much and that's how we change realities that's how we quantum leap right we just change our thoughts in the instant and it happens instantly okay let's see your other cards palm number one where is your life taking you next reach for the moon go for it yeah so you see your guides are really like giving you this message of like dream for more right don't settle for less don't keep yourself in you know like this um I want to say like energy like i will get what life gives me right or i will settle 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 for what life gives me i feel there is your guys are saying just go for it reach for the moon reach for the stars things are not failed you know i'm getting like that energy for this but like nothing has failed yet some of you might be really feeling this way like oh things are really not happening for me and i'm just like stuck but no i really feel that your pile actually has this one cup that's remaining in your life that is going to be your breakthrough or it's going to be that one thing that really shifts your life i feel there's really big energy in your pile of just like letting go of what happened or didn't happen and pursuing the future you know seeing the opportunity in tomorrow i really do feel there is that energy here for you and let's get your last card pile number one two and your reading you had a really powerful reading i was saying in the beginning how I feel this pile is going to be powerful, but let's see your last card. What is the last message your guides want to give you? Okay, so you guys have the crow spirit, co-create with spirits. Okay, so in number 17, this is star card energy. So co-create with spirit when it comes to your wishes, your dreams, right? It, it's clear here that there is divine energy involved in your situation with the five of cups to me this is honestly i don't see the five of cups as a card of things are failing and things are not going to work out or i don't see it i see it as life redirecting you towards what is yours what you want but you might not be noticing it yet because you're still in the process of grieving or something that didn't work out or oh this recently failed and it didn't get accepted so you're still grieving for that but 
there is going to be this sudden hope okay because it always runs the it remains the it represents right the one cup that's remaining so there's still a chance actually there's two cups remaining in the five of cups okay so there is still a chance for things to work for you and co-create with spirit you need to realize in order to co-create with spirit you need to realize and see the bigger picture which i feel with the eight of swords is maybe what you have not been doing because the eight of swords like that energy of our mind is just keeping us boxed and we cannot see past anything right than what's in front of us than the obstacles um so set your heart free right you can free yourself from this because the eight of swords like this person the reason why they're in this position is because of their thoughts and their mindset, okay? Uh, so I feel that's what I have for your reading today, Paul number one. You had a really powerful reading and I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Paul number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is... Hello, my beautiful Paul number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about where your life is ready to take you next. So pile number two, for your card today, you guys have the lion card. And on your card, it says power, loyalty, leadership, and family. Wow. And you also have the number 11 here, so maybe it's significant for you. I'm getting right away like um, alignment energy from this pile. I don't know, I heard that word. When I said the number 11, I heard alignment, so we'll see what that means. But you also have the white stone for your pile today. Okay, pile number two. So let's get into your cards right away, and I'm super excited to see where your life is taking you next. I will start with your tarot cards for today, just to see like the you know overall image, all the details, and then we'll get into your oracle cards for any additional messages from your guides. So let's see, spirit guides and angels, please give us divine guidance for those who felt drawn to palm number two. Where is their life ready to take them next? For palm number two, spirit guides and angels, please give us messages for those who felt drawn to this pile. All right, so we have your cards. Let's see where your life is taking you next. So you guys have the seven of swords. Okay, interesting. Let's see all of your cards. Two of Swords. You have the Judgment. Wow, the Judgment is so... It's really major energy. It's really big energy. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Wow, the Sun. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God, I love your message. Okay, Palm number two, so where is your life ready to take you next? I see you making a really powerful decision, honestly, Palm number two. Like, I see you making a really powerful decision to pursue your life purpose. That is kind of what I'm getting here from this pile. Like, you're finally making the decision to stop lying to yourself or deceiving yourself in a way. And just pursue your purpose like pursue what it is that you're meant to do pursue what what's in alignment with you right yeah i was i was getting like that um with 11 to me that's always the number of alignment you know and working together with the divine with spirit and i feel what this spell has been going through here you know because we're looking into where your life is ready to take you next but something about maybe the way your life has been lately so that you know that this is your pile I'm getting an energy that you guys have been almost like self-sabotaging yourself in a way or deceiving yourself, like lying to yourself. And you know, this doesn't always have to be intentional, but sometimes it's because of the way that we have been conditioned and maybe, you know, our mindset. Like it feels like, oh, it's almost like that energy of you have been playing it too safe to the point where it's, kind of falls into the category of like self-sabotage like you're just maybe not putting yourself out there enough you are like um maybe un maybe you're doing this like unintentionally but it feels like you're just kind of 
deciding to go the safer route, you know, not really be seen, not really express yourself that authentically or not putting yourself out there fully. Uh, like I'm getting that energy, if you have been kind of in that energy of like just deceiving yourself slightly or maybe for them of you a lot but uh with the two of swords you're clearly making the decision right two of swords is to me it's like you have to make a decision like you you're making a decision right you're cutting the veil we see this person there it's like the, the the tie from their eyes is being lifted um so it's like you're finally like done with it like you're finally done maybe hiding or uh, deceiving yourself or lying to yourself it's like you are starting to be really straightforward with yourself you're making that decision that it's time to pursue your life purpose the judgment is the card of rising from the dead okay it's the card from uh your angels are calling you it's your time it's your divine time to finally get up and do what you're meant to do and i see that this reading is showing up in your life right now as a sign that it's time for you to get up maybe for some of you get out of bed stop slacking stop hiding yourself under the ground because it, it like i feel this spell has been kind of like actively staying under the radar almost like actively just not you know, I'm not saying that you haven't been like working towards what you want or giving effort, but still in the back of your mind, it feels like there has been like this energy of self-deception of like, I maybe don't feel safe being seen. I don't feel safe um, putting myself out there yet because what will others think? And maybe you're not, you know, doing it as actively as you could and i feel like that's what has been kind of keeping you in that energy but uh you're making the decision to finally do it you know and i feel life is ready to take you towards so much positivity guys look at the ace of cups and the sun this is just so blissful energy it's like that energy of light your life is about to start overflowing with goodness with blessings with positive energy with just so much joy, so much happiness. To be honest, I feel with the sun being present in your pile, you, your life is just ready to take you towards happiness. It's ready to take you towards fulfillment, towards not lacking in any area of your life, okay? I feel prior, there was like this energy with you of like, you feel deceived, you feel mistreated maybe, or you just feel like, I don't know, like, something is fishy you know i'm getting from that from this part like something doesn't seem right um and i feel you're coming to that realization of like i need to make the decision and start actually doing this like properly like actively like really giving in my 100 percent. and as soon as you start to do this you will feel just so much happier first of all because you're aligning yourself towards your life purpose and what you actually want to do what will make you happy so instantly you're going to start to become happier. You will start to see so much of your manifestations come through with the Ace of Cups. You know, this is to me energy of manifestations flowing in your life. Love, friendships, money, abundance, health, everything is coming in because you're in alignment. You are where your soul needs to be. And with the sun, you know, this is clear card of positivity, happiness, blessings, good luck. So I see life is taking you towards that energy. But you will make the you will make this decision, and I feel maybe some of you have already made this decision. Because this reading is not meant to be like this is gonna happen in the next month or so. It's meant to be really like close by, like the same day when you're watching this, or maybe this happened uh, yesterday or a few days prior. But um, that's the energy that I'm seeing here for you. Let's get your oracle cards, pile number two, and let's see what more. You need to hear where is your life taking you next wow you have golden healer a higher vibration i want to take this card because i feel it, it really gives sun energy right higher vibration so your life is going you're meeting a higher vibration congratulations Paul number two you know this is the key to manifesting this is the key to really living the life that you want and you putting yourself into this alignment and pursuing your life purpose is really going to raise your vibration and we know that with higher vibration you just attract so many good things that's why you have the ace of cups and the sun so this is you know just wow it's just a confirmation look at the citrine with joy these are basically like the same cards right and you know this is never a coincidence look at this from all the cards that you have could have gotten right 
from this deck and they're all different they're all different colors you can see here i'm gonna show you but they're all different look at this and yeah i feel like these are maybe maybe this one is also similar but everything else is it's different right and you got the two same cards that represent joy high vibration the sun right golden energy so really life is ready to take you here i feel these cards i love that they came out for you because it really shows that life is ready to take you towards just more positive things like a you know happiness joy right i was saying that blessings wow i love this let's get another card i'm really curious to see what else you need to hear because it feels like life is you know really taking you um to a better place but this is all because you're making the decision you know i see you making like a decision uh, a really important decision that will transform this for you you know and i feel like the decision has to do with you actually deciding to stop self-sabotaging yourself and go after something full-time let's see what else you need to hear wow between worlds new direction oh my god look at all of the yellow that you guys are getting and on the bottom of the deck you guys have light codes with the travel awaits you so maybe some of you're traveling somewhere but you have here between worlds a new direction right so so clear you know with the two of swords i was saying that you guys are going to make a decision and in order to jump between these two worlds that you're in it feels like you're very much in between at the moment like you're um either gonna go back or you're gonna go a totally different route you know and with new directions it's saying that you guys are making the decision to actually transform and change your life for the better and pursue what is in alignment with you it's like you're not gonna you know let it slide this time you're not gonna let it be like oh well you know better luck next time i feel that this time you're just really like i am going to do this like i'm actually going to do this and i see this working and really changing your life taking you towards the directions of where you want your life to go which is really big polymer too i really love the energy of this pile it feels and you know you have your power loyalty leadership family it does feel like you're ready to step up like step into charge be yourself be who you are you know express that confidence with the leo leo is you know really big energy of like expressing the confidence and not feeling fearless and bold and confident and um even putting yourself out there like in the leo can also attract a lot of fame a lot of public recognition so if some of you have been wanting to put yourself out there i really feel like this is your time to do it and you just need to make the decision to actively start doing this okay let's see what else poll number two where is your life ready to take you next wow with moon moonset and releasing so yeah you're really like releasing that old life you know between worlds it's like right now it's it feels like you have two lives that you can pursue like your old one and your new life and i feel that like you guys are releasing the old you're releasing the past releasing also like again that energy of self-sabotage and self-deception and you're really deciding to go after something okay really full force go after something and you will see the blessings come in ultimately i feel with this fall it's not something that you're going to need to wait or be so patient with because i kind of feel like you have been already doing a lot but it's just like you need to like make the decision to you know this is the new me this is um you know when you're wanting to shift realities and when you're wanting to change your life you need to make the decision you can work so much and you can put in so much effort but you need to decide for yourself like really confidently okay this is who i am starting from today and i see you guys doing that and that's really what's going to push you towards this new way of living this new lifestyle and this is going to affect your life you know on a whole level i see also something about like your lifestyle changing you know like the way that you live your life is going to be completely different but it's going to be in more alignment with who you want to be and who you are as a person deep down oh okay this card flew up for you on the ground so you have the buffalo spirit 
the abundant universe will provide so you see the universe will give you anything that you need guys and the universe is ready to give you anything that you want i was saying with the ace of cups how this card you know represents overflowing with blessings and good luck fortune so i definitely feel like the universe is ready to give you guys everything that you have been wanting and desiring and i kind of want to get one more card to in your reading poll number two let's see if there's any last messages that you guys want to tell you oh wow you look at this you have the star fish spirit open to infinite possibilities i'm getting like star energy from this pile honestly i was saying with the leo how there's like energy of fame right and you also have the hawk spirit let spirit be your guide so you know just let your spirit guides let life guide you towards where you want to go because it's saying that the universe will provide for you guys you'll be given what you want exactly what you want and how much of it you want you don't need to settle for less you don't need to um be conservative i feel here it's like the universe your angels are just telling you like let life guide you because you know where you need to go, okay? And everything will be given to you. Everything that you do, you want, you just need to make the decision like, okay, this is who I am. And not keep going back to that old self. Like this time, you really need to set your mind and just pursue your authentic self. I feel poll number two. Um, but that's what I have for your, uh, for your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful palm number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about where your life is ready to take you next. So palm number three. For your card today, you guys have the beautiful eagle card. And here it says vision, freedom, authority, and inspiration. Wow. Okay. And you guys also have the purple stone for your pile today. So pile number three, let's begin with your reading right away and let's see where is your life ready to take you next. Today's readings have been really powerful, so I'm super excited to see what your message is going to be. And I will start with your tarot cards, uh, just to give us, you know, the whole overall image, energy, details, and then we'll um, get additional messages with your oracle cards. So let's start pile number three and let's see where your life is ready to take you next spirit guides and angels can you please give us divine guidance for those who feel drawn to palm number three where is palm number three's life ready to take them next where is palm number three's life ready to take them next okay so let's see your tarot cards first Wow, King of Pentacles, right away, starting off amazing, pile number three with the King of Pentacles here. Again, you had vision, freedom, authority, and inspiration. Okay, let's see your other cards. The Devil, wow, okay. I see you attracting a lot of material things in your life, like, um, yeah, I'm seeing this pile, pile there's something about a lot of resources material like uh, material desires that are coming towards you wow yeah queen of cups okay so maybe you're manifesting this right now you have the ace of swords and your last card wow the star card wow okay fall number three i like your energy as well it feels very certain okay the, i feel the difference maybe from the other piles and you it's you feel very certain towards what you want you know it's like you know what you want you have set your mind to it and this is it right this is what life is giving you here so um let's start here pile number three i feel that um for this pile first of all i'm seeing a lot of finances coming in your life with the king of pentacles there's a lot of financial stability um i feel that's coming in and i i also get an energy that a lot of your material desires are going to manifest because with the devil um this to me represents like material things what we want materialist materialistic wise or i don't know how you would say that but um it's like what are your 
material desires like what car do you want what how much money do you want what kind of house do you want or the clothes that you want to buy it's covering that kind of energy and i feel for your pile uh, you're going to get exactly that like i'm getting a lot of abundance coming in your life and a lot of the material things that you want and with this is also going to come a lot of stability i'm also getting something about like your home becoming better i don't know the king of pentacles does also kind of um to me talk about like stability in the home or just having a stable home having a stable source of income it's overall like saying you know financial stability so i definitely feel there's also something about, about your home maybe that's going to improve or just you starting to manifest a lot of like those materialistic desires you know maybe some of some people would say that you're being greedy for this uh, it's kind of giving me that energy where you're really going to start to get a lot of material things and people might see you a little bit as greedy or just, um, you know, that kind of energy. But that doesn't really matter, right? Um, that's besides the point. I'm just, I, I feel that there's no such a thing of like greediness, right? Uh, it's like what you want is what you want and nobody else can say anything about it because it's your life after all. And if some people start to think of you this way or just see you that you're getting a lot of things, don't let that make you feel bad or like you don't deserve it or like, you know, don't go in that spiral. Just enjoy the things that you're going to get because I do feel they're coming in because you're manifesting them, because you want them. Um, and the Ace of Swords, like there's a major victory coming in here or I'm getting something like a powerful event. Either it's uh, maybe going to be a contract that's going to come up that's going to be really val valuable for some of you. Maybe it's going to be kind of success or victory, but I see you like, you know, being a bit outstanding in the sense, especially with the star, there could be kind of... Um, recognition coming in you being recognized for your beauty or maybe being recognized for your fame being recognized for your talents this can also just indicate your wishes coming in in a very like effortless way in a very like fast way i'm almost kind of getting like they're just coming in i see that a lot of your wishes are really going to start to come true and come into your reality here i feel that the main reason why though is because you guys are becoming so decisive and this is what i was saying in the beginning with this pile of like you're deciding you feel very decisive from the other piles of what you want um and sometimes the the energy of being like uh decisive and knowing what you want can show off or come off to people as being greedy right or just being like oh who this person like who do they think they are right but I don't feel like that really matters for you, you know? Just do your own thing, get what you want. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're happy and that you get your desires. So I do see a lot of material, your material needs being met here by life. And I feel that that is where your life is taking you next. Let's see your Oracle cards to get more messages here. Pile number three, where is your life ready to take you next? Let's see, where is your life ready to take you next? So, poem number three, you guys have the Almadane Garnet here with commitment. Let me just make sure I read that right. Almadine Garnet, yeah, I feel that's how you pronounce it, with commitment. So, yeah, I was saying with the Ace of Swords, there might be some kind of significant contract coming in here. And these colors are very uh, like similar as well. But I do feel it's that you you you're committing to something. Maybe you're committing to, you know, maybe you're committing to this new way of living, right? Maybe you're committing to living a more luxurious life, living a more materialistic life, um, maybe living a life where you're famous as well. You do have the devil and the star both in the reading, and those two cards to me indicate fame as well, like public recognition. So maybe you're committing to becoming famous. Uh, but I see you're committing to this. You're committing and that's why your wishes are coming true. Um, you know, I really, really felt with this pile, it's like you feel like you have decided what you want. You feel committed towards this. And that is why life is going to take you 
uh there i believe the queen of cups popped up in every pile today and it uh, doesn't really surprise me because with the queen of cups it's just saying that life is going to take you where towards where your intention is you know i feel that kind of message came up in every single pile but maybe we were just looking into what your intention is for life and this is just confirming for you because really life is going to take us towards what our intention is when it comes to life and uh maybe this is you again like these messages are just confirming that you're on the right path when it comes to manifesting the life that you guys want uh so what's your other cards where is your life taking you next lead the way light your own path wow so i was just saying how life is going to take you where you want it to go so spirit is saying you lead the way you go where you want to go this maybe this part of what other people think what other people might perceive as like it's too much you shouldn't ask for this much and again i feel that's something that you just can't measure because you know the how are you going to measure what's too much and what's too little when the universe is unlimited is limitless right is um, uh, there's like unlimited abundance in the universe and most likely the way people measure what is too much when it comes to what you're asking for from life is because of their circumstances and where their life is at that point um, asking two different people from completely different backgrounds might give you two completely different answers. So I, I do feel like some of you need to hear, don't feel like you're being greedy just for asking for more. Okay, so don't feel like you're being greedy uh, because you want your desires to be met. Maybe this is something that you have been struggling in the past and maybe that's why you haven't been manifesting things so quickly. But I feel like maybe you need this reading to just reassure you that it's okay to ask for more it's okay to want more it's okay to want luxury to want money to want materialistic things it's not a sin you know i'm getting like that energy like you maybe need to hear this because you have been feeling bad about asking the universe for more but i feel like you need to hear that it's it's not a bad thing to want more of that you know so just leave the way the universe is saying just show us tell us what you want and it's where you will go Okay, I'm kind of feeling this card for you. It's wanting to come out. You guys have young moon with strength. Okay, so stay committed. I definitely feel like this pal just needs to stay strong. You know, stay decisive. Make, you know, make the decision and stay, stay there. Stay in that energy of I'm committed towards what I want. I'm committed towards my desires. Stay there, okay? Meditate in that energy. Be there. Be present in that energy because ultimately that's what's going to get you your desires, pile number three. When you decide and you stay committed to your decision and not waver back and forth, okay? Sometimes making a decision is better than making no decision. So let's see your last card, pile number three. And let's see what is your last message for today. Where is your life ready to take you next? So, wow, you have the ant spirit, time to collaborate. Okay, so maybe it's time for you to work with other people when it comes to bringing some things to life. Career-wise, I do feel this pile is kind of career-orientated here or just wants to make more money, maybe wants to make their dream, their job. So uh, collaborate with people. Pile number three, I feel your guides want to advise you to, especially with the ego, it's like you can pursue your vision it's like pursue what your vision is you know but how let others help you along the way you don't need to do this so isolated so alone again you can do what your vision is for yourself but you can also let other people help you with this i do feel your guides are encouraging you to come to collaborate with other people work with other people um because getting the insight of other people it's can be really helpful to you know just see how other people are feeling about what you're doing what you're releasing what you're putting out there again though i want to emphasize make sure that you pay attention who you get the feedback from and make sure that they're qualified in it right so that they know what they're talking about but i do feel it's going to be helpful to join hands with other people when it comes to making your wishes and your dreams a reality i kind of wanted one more card for you so you have the night tale spirit with love is all around so yeah, I feel that your guys just want to tell you you're being supported with what you want to do. 
they're listening to you you have the music here coming out if some of you want to work on music because you do have the star as well and the devil um collaborate with people on this like if you want to work on music if there's certain projects that you want to work on i definitely feel like uh collaborate with people and expect a lot of recognition to come in because you have love is all around so i see in terms of what you guys are going to create is going to be really loved and liked by people no wonder i feel it might even attract some fame or some recognition you know and it's going to be really well perceived it feels like if you want to have a group of audience it's going to do pretty well it's going to be loved well received and respected by people and your voice is going to be heard so I feel those are the last messages that I'm hearing here for you, poll number three. I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.